Kolpeka musings. Passing by the supermarket, I once came to buy you food. I recall how it felt. Your keys in my hand, you were at work, so I came to play housewife. Get good ingredients to make you dinner, then watch you eat it. No word of appraisal, no word of thank you, then wash the dishes. And now that I have a home of my own, that I keep clean or make dinner often, and for which the keys are heavier than yours, even though I have no one to share it with, I think I'd rather eat alone than ever cook for you again. <laughs> Next one, oh goodness, this is so tiny, I'm so blind. Um, it's kind of a work in progress, so bear with me, um, but there you go. It's called Love Like an Illness. I told my mother about it, my love for you and its impossibility. I cried for days, I said, looking for a hug. Instead, she said, oh dear, like someone commenting on a bad rash or a very <laughs> inconvenient but not life-threatening illness. <laughs> My love for you is stomach flu, it seems. And my life is not spent looking for a cure. I reach for it in books and in spells and food that I cook, hoping that spoonfuls of love I add to the recipe will replenish this pantry inside me. But that's not how it works, and everyone knows it. You creep in through the pages. You, your name reverberates through the rhymes of incantations. You are my favorite spice. And even the men I see become similes of you as time goes by. Their hair grows wild like yours. Their voice calls out for me just like yours did. And I think I see you walking towards me as they approach. It is, of course, only a mirage. And as the contours return, their voices morph back to the original tongues. I'm left in inexplicable desolation. Love like a feverish state that makes me wander through the streets looking down at cobblestones thinking how I'd like to hold your hand. Love like... Uh, weakening my lays, making me soft and supple, making me smile into the nothingness that is your absence. And how to heal this ailment? Is there a known antidote that isn't procured by tears and greater pains than the ones I'm already in? Mother is divorced, and when it happened, I remember learning that women could leave, that women could be on their own if they so wanted to. But I never recall her explaining how to get rid of love. Love like a pilgrimage, like navigating stormy waves, looking for a safe haven to dock, thinking you'll drown, thinking you'll die at the hands of the enemy by the sword of the man you love. You walk hundreds of miles through this inhospitable tundra of platonic feeling, then transverse the desert that are his silences, and you keep walking this Camino in the hope of a holy grail. And it's like love, like unyielding faith, like dogma, like cause. <laughs> 